What's the difference between a great video and an average one? It's all about the details. A great video has an interesting topic, engaging storytelling, fit in soundtracks, tasteful color grading, and of course, good editing. And today, we're going to focus on exactly that, editing. We'll talk about a few simple yet really effective editing tricks. A good editing trick used at the right time can help your video tell a story. These tricks can capture, hold, and direct the viewer's attention. The story you tell in, in your video or the mood of the video can change dramatically depending even on the simplest thing such as the way you cut your video. On the one hand you can use cuts to create movie magic, on the other hand you can completely ruin your video with just a couple misplaced cuts. That's why it's important to pay attention to something like cuts. Stuff that might seem small but in reality is absolutely crucial. All of the editing techniques I'm gonna talk about today are based on simple straight cuts. Straight cut, also called a standard cut, is the most basic and common editing edit in video editing, it's like flipping a page in a book. You simply jump from one clip to the next. The video cuts from one scene to another with no fancy effects or transitions. This option is a good choice when you don't need any complicated solutions or when you don't have more than five minutes to edit your video, but it also has a disadvantage. Simple cuts between different shots can look rough, messy, and trivial. So if you want to make the visual storytelling in your video more engaging, one of the first types of cuts you should learn is the cutaway. A cutaway cut in video editing is like taking a quick pause in your story. It's like overlaying one shot on top of another one. For example, if I were talking about my passion for music and my guitar collection, I would show you a couple B-rolls with my guitar collection. Such cutaways help to make the video more detailed and visually coherent. In movies, this trick is often used, for example, to show the character's thoughts or give additional exposition. Often it's followed by a couple of flashing transitions and sometimes even a background voiceover, but overall it's a great way to make your videos better and more full. Another cool edit and trick, also based on the regular cut is the jump cut. It's like jumping from one frame to another really fast, like pieces of film were chopped off and stuck back together. This jumpy style definitely grabs your attention. Vlogs, jump cuts are great for speeding up long actions like cooking or making coffee. You can ditch the whole process and just show the interesting parts, the highlights as I like to call them. YouTubers like me also use jump cuts a lot when editing interviews or monologues. With jump cuts, it's super convenient to cut out pauses, bloopers, or mistakes without messing with the flow of the narration itself. Jump cuts can also be used to quickly zoom in from a wide shot to a close-up without changing the camera angle. This grabs the viewer's attention and makes time seem like it's flying by. Fun fact, this trick was supposedly invented by a French director named Jean-Luc Gobard in the 60s. In his movie, Breathless, the jumpy cuts looked like mistakes at first and not everyone liked it, but guess what? Jump cuts became super popular in music videos and now you see them all the time in vlogs and interviews. In the right hands, these jumpy cuts can take a boring video and make it super dynamic. Another crucial technique in video editing is transitions. I obviously mean all those fade in, fade out effects, graphic transitions and so on. There are many effects you can create, especially if the video editor is intuitive and capable, such as Movavi Video Editor, which is part of Movavi Unlimited. And Movavi Unlimited is an all-in-one solution that's got everything you need. If you've been struggling with long large, unwieldy footage shot on your phone, Movavi has you covered. With its easy-to-use tools, you can effortlessly convert your footage into a more manageable format and even enhance its quality by up to eight times. Movavi Unlimited also includes a powerful photo editor, lets you get creative with video thumbnails, you can crop, resize, apply filters, and add text, stickers, and frames to your images, creating stunning visuals that will captivate your audience. So if you're tired of the struggles that come with video editing and you're looking for effortless and impressive results, Results, I highly recommend giving Movavi Unlimited a try. And now, get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up, an 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off, so don't wait, hit the link, and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't wanna miss. Now, let's get back to talking about editing techniques that can make your videos more interesting and professional. Next up are the L-Cut and J-Cut. They work by playing the audio from one clip a little before or after the video from the next clip shows up. This creates a smoother flow than a straight cut, kind of like those fancy dissolves you see in movies. A J-Cut is when the audio from the next clip starts 
explain while the video from the previous clip is still playing. This can build suspense, soften a harsh cut, or emphasize the sound from the previous scene. An L cut is the opposite of a J cut. The video from the next clip starts playing before the audio from the previous clip ends. This is great for maintaining a continuous mood or sound bed, or even highlighting a specific sound at the beginning of the new scene. The difference between these two is actually pretty easy to see when you're editing. On the timeline, the cuts look like the letters J and L, hence the names. Next up is one of my favorite tricks, the match cut. This is where you edit two completely different shots together based on something similar in both scenes. It could be the composition, specific movement, or even a visual element. Basically, you cut from one clip to another right when something matches up perfectly. This creates a cool connection between the scenes and can even move the story along quickly without confusing viewers. Imagine a close-up of a spinning pizza dough, then cut into a shot of a vinyl record spinning. This circular motion is the connecting force. Match cuts are awesome for adding visual spectacle, directing where the viewer looks, and emphasizing key moments in your story. So next time you're filming, keep an eye out for potential match cuts opportunities. A little planning goes a long way in making your videos look professional. Last but not least, let's talk about cut on action. A super simple but powerful editing trick you gotta have in your toolbox. It's basically cutting from one shot to another right in the middle of some kind of movement. Cut on action is used to soften the transition between two clips, make it smoother and more natural for the viewer, and at the same time keep them engaged in what is happening. This technique is a lifesaver for videos with lots of motion like sports highlights, car chases in your latest homemade action movie, or travel vlogs where you are constantly on the move. It helps maintain the energy and flow of the action, whether it's someone throwing a frisbee to their dog, walking from one room to another or doing a spin while dancing. Cut on action can also be used to change perspectives or reveal hidden details. In movies, this technique is all over fight scenes and car chases, but it's not just for Hollywood blockbusters. You can use it in your everyday vlogs too. A well-placed cut on action can add a touch of epicness or maybe even humor to your video. You see, even the basic straight cut can be used to create a bunch of cool editing tricks. Learning just a few of these, ideally all of them, will totally make your videos more professional, fluent, and interesting, making all the key moments stand out. I'm telling you, this will keep your viewers hooked from beginning till the end. That's all for today, folks. Happy editing, and see you in the next one.